Hi, Dr. Alex here, and I did the bad thing again. By that, I mean I bought another unnecessary, in this case, ThinkPad, because, well, for reasons? Well, no good reason at all, really. But as you can tell from the title of this video, we will be using the new purchase to perform a test racing the T420 I already had with the Generation 2 i7 2860QM processor against the newly acquired T430 third generation i7 3740QM processor, which it has. So uh, my stupidity won't go to waste. So as I think I probably said in the last video, I wasn't planning to buy any more ThinkPads because I had enough ThinkPads to do everything I needed to do and I didn't have a good reason for buying another one. I was looking for a third gen processor to put into the T530 because that had the capacity to take a third gen processor, although it was running happily with a second gen processor at this time, the i7-2760QM. And it still is. In fact, it's sitting over to the right recording the audio for this very video. But while scanning eBay for a cheap third gen processor, I will go back into which third gen processor I got and why in a minute, I happened to see a T430 come up that was ridiculously cheap because the person selling it didn't have a power supply to test it and so it's being sold not working for spares because they couldn't test it. And I started watching it idly and the seller noticed I was watching it and lowered the offer on it so that with the price of the laptop and the postage combined it came to under £30. So I couldn't resist and I bought it. And I'm very pleased I got it because when it turned up I put a power supply in it and everything was working. It even had a hard drive in it which was unexpected because it was listed without a hard drive being present. That had an install of Windows 10 which turned out to be corrupt but I didn't want the Windows 10 anyway and I actually installed Linux Mint 18 as usual on the hard drive it came with and although it was a mechanical clunky old one 320 gigabyte it installed fine so it had a working hard drive everything about it was working it was as described cosmetically nice the laptop looks very good so yeah i ended up with another thinkpad that i didn't really need but it's not going to go to waste of course as soon as i got it it did the keyboard upgrade and put in the old seven row keyboard so it has the nice keyboard just like most of my thinkpads that i use on a regular basis now do i had a spare m sata solid state drive one terabyte knocking around so i stuck that in as well so i didn't have to use the mechanical drive in fact the t430 currently has no old school hard drive in it at all it has an empty bay right now the only slight downside about this computer is it has the crappier low res screen in it which I always forget the resolution for, but I'll flash it up on screen. It's, it's that low res it's got, not the 1600 by 900, which is preferable, but really it makes no difference for what it's being used for and for testing and everything we're doing with it today. I had also bought a faster i7 processor, third gen, with the original intention of sticking it in the T530, but then since it's running so well, I decided to leave it as it is. As I said before, it's doing a good job recording the audio right now, and it's been doing a lot of video processing in parallel with my main T420, because I can use them both at the same time to do processing and other things. It's it's great. <laughs> anyway, they have jobs to do, and they're not going to be changed anytime soon, those ones. So as a consequence, the T430 got a very nice new processor. It went from the i5-3320M, I think it had originally, up to an i7-3740QM. And again, I'll come back to why I picked that one over another potentially faster one in a moment. Just to finally round up what these laptops will be doing, the T420 is still my regular workhorse. That's going to be the one that I use for most things. The T530 will almost certainly be used for other video processing when I'm doing two things in parallel. Most of the weeks and wildlife videos recently have been done on the T530 rather than the T420. But the T430 will be a sort of waiting in the wings laptop. If the 420 eventually dies, I might just switch straight over to the T430 that I've got here now and use that as its replacement. Also, I have another project in the wings where I'm trying to do something with NVMe hard drives, solid state drives, I should say. And so when that project comes to fruition, you'll see that T430 all over again because it'll have another job to do testing that setup and demonstrating that setup. 
if it works. But for now, let's race the T430 3rd gen i7-3740QM against the original T420 2nd gen i7-2860QM. But wait! Why did I choose the i7-3740QM and not, for example, the i7-3840QM, which is, on paper, a more powerful processor? The specs. On paper, it's got a bigger cache, and that's about it, really. It's supposed to run slightly faster when on turbo, but as you can see from the screenshot, there's very little difference between the two processors. Maximum of 3% difference between them. Which is eerily reminiscent of the difference between the second generation i7-2860QM versus the 270QM. When I did the test on those in the video you saw before where we tested them against each other, there was minimal difference in their performance and yet the cost difference was ridiculous. It was something like 30 odd pounds for the 2760QM versus 70 or 80 pounds for the 2860QM. So again, once bitten twice shy, I was not going to go and buy the more expensive i7-3840QM when that again was costing about 75 to 80 or above pounds versus the i7-3740QM, which I managed to get for just over 40 pounds. So almost half the price. And yet, as you can see from the specs here, there's very little difference in their performance on paper. A 3% maximum difference in their performance, probably less. Uh, I, I've forgotten, so I'll have flashed it up what the real difference between them is, but minimal difference. And I went for the cheaper of the two because, hell, why would I pay... £35 over for a negligible difference in performance. I'm not made of money. I mean, that difference in processor price would be more than I paid for the T430 in its entirety. Okay, that's enough bumbling around the reasons why I've got another laptop and what I might use it for. Let's get on with the testing. And the first thing we could do is, of course, turn them both on and see which one boots up the fastest. I would expect the T430 to boot up faster, but let's find out. So here we go. My arm will swing into shot now, no doubt. Switching on now. Okay, I did try and get out of the way as quick as possible. The T420 has come up with this flash screen, splash screen quicker. No, I put it the other way around. The T430 was faster. The T430 is on the left. The T420 is on the right. The T430 is definitely booting up faster at the moment, it seems. Okay, the T430 is now at its login screen. And the T420 is at its login screen. Okay, so there's not much of a difference. I'd say about four, five seconds difference between them, but meh, a difference. And I'll try and time this afterwards in the video so we can see exactly how long it took them from switch on to boot up uh, to login screen. But yeah, pretty fast. Okay, now I'm going to come into shot so I can log into both of them. So I'm going to cut that bit out and we'll go straight to the CPU tests. Okay, before I run the actual tests, the races themselves, um, something you should mention about the two laptops, they both have 16 gigabytes of RAM in them. Now, technically, the T430 with a third gen processor could have 32 gigabytes of RAM in it if I bought two, two 16 gig cards to slip in it. But I've never found myself gasping for lack of memory running with 16 gigabytes on almost all of my laptops. So I'm perfectly happy for now to run it with 16. It doesn't mean the T430 and T420 are running with the same memory. And they both have solid state drives in, as I mentioned. The T430 has a one terabyte M SATA drive in its M SATA slot, whereas the T420 has a two terabyte standard SATA SSD in its larger hard drive bay, but they both have the same connection. M SATA and the SATA slots have the same data throughput speed, so there's no difference in that. So all the differences you'll see will come down to the processors. So let's see which one is quicker. On these tests, I would expect the 430 to come out quicker. It has a faster, newer processor, but I wonder how big the difference will be. Okay, so the first one will be with CPU Blowfish, which I'm sure you've all seen before in the previous tests. Um, in fact, you'll know the results of the T420, although it does seem to vary from test to test by a small amount sometimes, I guess, depending on what's been going on. <laughs> just before we run it. But anyway, let's try CPU Blowfish on both. My hand will get into shot for a second. Here we go. Poink. Okay, the T430 has come out with 1.72 seconds. Obviously, lower is better. It means it's been faster. Whereas the T420 came out with exactly 2.00 seconds. So a tiny bit slower. 
what you might expect. Okay, let's do the next one, which will be CPU crypto hash. And again, my hand will come to shot for a bit. Doink. Okay, the T430 did 813.85. That's megabits per second. Higher is better. That's the T430. And the T420 did 622.90. So slightly lower, therefore not quite as good. But again, pretty respectable. Okay, let's do CPU Fibonacci next. Clink. Okay, CPU Fibonacci, uh, the T430, which we expect to be better, has come out with 1.48 seconds, whereas the T420 came up with 1.58 seconds. So, yeah, it was a little bit slower, but not exactly a massive amount. I think the take-home message so far is that you've got a second-gen T420 with an i7, either the 2860 or the 2760 QM. I wouldn't be crying myself to sleep over not having a T430. but Still, it is T430 is a little bit better. Next one is CPU N Queens. Let's see what this does. Point. Okay, for CPU N Queens, the T430 managed 0.51 seconds. Again, lower is better. Whereas the T420 managed 0.59 seconds. Just tiny difference between the two. Okay, let's try FPU FFT. Still don't know what that is, but there you go. FPU FFT is what we're going to do next. Doink. Okay, FPU FFT, the T430 has done 0.89 seconds, again lower is better, whereas the T420 did 0.90 seconds, almost no difference between the two for that test, again not sure why, but there you go. And finally, FPU ray tracing, here we go with both of them, my hand getting in shot again. Point. Obviously, I mucked up pressing them at the same time that time, but it doesn't really matter. The results have come out. And uh, yeah, the T430 managed to do 3.12 seconds, lower is better. And the T420, 2.93. Okay, this is a surprise. One of the tests has come out faster for the T420. So the T430 for FPU ray tracing managed 3.12 seconds. Whereas the T420, which is supposed to be slower on paper, for FPU ray tracing managed 2.93 seconds. So in one test, and one test alone, the T420 proved itself faster than T430, which is supposed to be faster. It's got a faster, newer processor. The whole thing is a newer computer. So yeah, there you go. So I guess that's all I really have to say for now, um, except watch this space to see me hopefully doing an NVMe drive test on the... Lenovo T430, because that's what it's going to be used for now, testing things. And I hope you found this enjoyable and possibly useful. And until the next video, whatever that may be, to all my watchers, subscribers and listeners, take care. Masters, mistresses, the doctor requires materials in order to maintain the TARDIS and ensure continued functionality. He similarly requires carbon-based comestibles to sustain his own biological functions and existence. Master would never say this, but he requires aid beyond that supplied by this unit in order to acquire these. To aid the doctor in his various tasks and creations, this can be most effectively achieved via Patreon or Substack subscriptions, or through donations directly to PayPal. Or if you desire physical goods in return for your contributions, written accounts of my travels with the doctor are also available on Amazon. Links are in the description below. Thank you, masters, mistresses.